Hello, welcome to this DCS map tutorial. The map is probably one of the most useful tools at your disposal. And we'll go through uh, the specific options in the map, how to read it, how to use it. So the first thing, your default keybind to bring up your map is F10. Press that. And we'll go through some of these options, starting at the upper left here and working our way over. So the first thing is your coordinate display. This will display coordinates for wherever your cursor currently is. You can see that changing. If we want to change the format of the coordinates, we will click left alt and Y on the keyboard. You can see a change there, changing again, going through all these different options. That's how you access the precise coordinates for various aircraft that require precise coordinates for bombing and whatnot or just for setting waypoints and other relaying of information. Next up, we have this button, which is center on plane. So right now we see, um, or rather we don't see our plane. So rather than having to zoom out, try and find it, zoom in and out with our scroll wheel, click left click and drag to move the map. We can click this, it will center on our plane right there. Um, you'll see that you can no longer click and drag the map. So after you find your plane, click it again, and you'll be able to move around. This next option is to show life bar on units. So if I scroll out here, that is this uh, green bar right above. You'll see that turns yellow or red, uh, depending on the current health of all of the units. Next up, we have uh, mark labels. We can click the circle, click somewhere on the map, type in, and then anyone else on the server is able to read um, information regarding this point we put down. We can hide it using this little line. And if we wanted to, we can either click it to bring it back up or click this button next to it to show all mark labels and toggle them. Remove it by clicking the X. Moving to this second uh, grouping of buttons, show all routes. We'll show all waypoints available for aircraft. So this blue line and these numbers signify any waypoints um, programmed for all units. If we want to see waypoints specific to our aircraft, we will click our aircraft and you'll see this yellow line. The yellow line are waypoints pre-programmed in our aircraft. So you can see waypoint one for our aircraft, waypoint one for some other aircraft. Next over, we'll show targets. Not really used a whole lot. And this is where we start getting the things you'll be using a whole lot. This Wi-Fi looking symbol is view detection areas. So down here, we have a bunch of SANS. Um, you can see gadflies. If we click this symbol, we now have circles on the map. These are detection areas. So if we fly into these circles, this is where uh, an enemy unit will be able to start tracking us. This next one over is engagement areas. See, they're a bit smaller. If we go into these circles, that's where enemy units are able to start firing on us. So if you have them both available, you can toggle engagement and you'll see as soon as we get in this area, we'll be, we'll be tracked. And if we get within this area, we'll be able to be fired on. Very useful. Shows it for friendly units, enemy units, just gives you an idea of the reach of some of the things out there and, and uh, danger zones. The next option is show labels. This is how we can see names of units. So down here we can see the mixture of SA-15s and SA-11s. This 
The next tool is probably one of the most important features of the map. It is the ruler tool. So I'll generally have this enabled all the time. I'll generally have all four of these enabled as a matter of fact. So utilizing the ruler tool with this selected, we can right click anywhere on the map, right click anywhere else, and we'll have a direction and a distance from the first click to the second click. So as an example, if we wanted um, a bearing in range from our aircraft to those SAMs I was just talking about, I would right click on my aircraft, right click on the SAMs, and I can see that this grouping of units is 167 degrees from my aircraft at a range of 65 nautical miles. We can just right click again anywhere and reset the ruler. So if I was flying along and I wanted to go fly towards these F-16s out here and engage them, I could right click on my unit, right click on them, and I know I'll have to fly 101 degrees from my current position for about 93 miles. This is very useful for giving bra callouts to allied units or for yourself as reference. So I can say these F-16s are bra 101 for 92 miles at 28,000 feet. If you click a unit, you have this little pop-up in the lower right, uh, left, and you can see information on it. So these are guys are flying at 28,000 feet uh, with a heading of 356. If I want to know what that heading is in relation to them, I can click on them with the ruler tool. They're going 356, so I know they're going in this direction. Moving over, we have zoom in, zoom out. We can use these. Generally, I'll just use my mouse scroll wheel. Actual size to zoom all the way out. And different coordinate grid displays. In the upper right-hand side, we have three different options, map, alt, and set. Map will be used for um, real-world air charts, very useful in modules like the A-10 or the Apache, who will rely on these kind of maps for navigation. Fighter jets all tend to just stay in ALT mode. Um, you also have the option for satellite views. On the map, if you wanted to spectate a certain unit, we could click it. We'll see it is now highlighted yellow and press F2. That will now spectate the unit we selected. To get back to the map, F10. Let's see if there are any allied munitions in the air, or enemy for that matter. I'm not seeing any. If there were missiles in the air that you could see on the map traveling to the target, we could click on them. Say there was a missile right here, I'd click on the missile, and then press F6, and it would spectate the missile. Or bomb, or whatever munition. If I wanted to spectate a ground unit, I would click on it and press F7. Back to the map of F10. If I wanted an aerial drone or satellite view, say I wanted to get an idea of what these SAMs looked like, not in the map, I would scroll in, hit Control F11, left Control F11, and now you can see it put me in a view that I can move around with my W, A, S, and D keys. Look left, right, up, down with the mouse, and those are the units. Move around, do all kinds of things. If I hit control, I'll slow down. If I hit shift, I'll speed up. So let's try that again, but get an idea of what's going on at 
this airfield. So I'll put the area I want to see in my map. Hit left control F11. And now I can get some intel on the map as if I had a satellite or drone or UAV or what have you flying around. Back to the map. And if we wanted to get back to our airplane, we would just hit F1 and that would put us back in our cockpit. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.